Greetings, people, and today we are playing Brotato. Well, the demo of Brotato. And this is a very fun game that they uh, learned. I'm, I'm, I'm going to play as the Ranger because I feel like doing some winning to start with. <laughs> so this was... Steam recently had their Going Rogue little event where they were, you know, celebrating roguelikes, soulslikes, and Metroidvanias. Pretty much all the games I play. <laughs> Let's be... And uh, they had demos as an availability during that. And this game was very much, well, I'd like to say it was mine, but it was pretty much everyone's, it seems like. It was, this was by far the most downloaded demo by the looks of it. And there's a reason why. This game is just fun. So you can equip upwards of six weapons. You will wield them at the same time. The, and your character does attack automatically. I think this is very similar to the game um, Vampire Survivor which seems to be very popular, and I've actually never played it. I'm going to be honest with you, and if it's anything like Brotato, I am honestly probably might give it a go, especially because it's pretty cheap. But, yeah, so the main strategy is you just got to move. And you collect these, you know, it's your, uh, well, they're your, uh, your experience and your money. You can see the money amount going up, as well as my character's experience. Every time you get the experience, you get a... Well, you'll get a perk point, you'll see, right here. And, oh, this is my item that I had dropped, baby with a beard. This is good because I get, we're going to start building up some range damage, because this character I'm playing as can only use guns. There are melee weapons, too. We'll play a melee one after. All right, let's go with the pistol. The pistol's actually really solid. It does good damage, and it pierces an enemy once. So as you can see, your character does change appearance as you, well, gather items. So just grab some stuff and just keep going. Like, the SMG is really not great. I need to get some more stats. Like it's a weapon that scales up incredibly once you start getting upgrades to your character. But until then, it just feels like it's doing nothing. It can deal with those rushy guys. And, you know, sometimes you want that. Like, all right, I'm already feeling powerful. Like, <laughs> all right. Uh, okay, we don't need accuracy. My character starts with a whole bunch of accuracy. I don't really need crit damage. I don't have much crit chance either. Just take dodge, I guess. Eh. Move speed's good. So that burn damage does not affect, like, add burn. It's just oh, well, it would have been nice though, cause scared sausage. Scared Sausage, you know, makes it you have a chance to burn. So, but the bandana, I really wish I had a little bit more. I could have took both, that would have been nice, but the bandana is just, like, nonsense. So now all my weapons pierce once. So, well, extra pierce, so even I'm, so now my pierce, I have, now my pierce, I have a double pierce on the pistol, so that is super solid. And, well... Yeah, doesn't do <laughs> so. Yeah, those trees seem to have the highest. I always seem to drop an item. It'll either be a heal or a item. So let's see if we can get. See, that's the heal. A little, I don't know, square pair. That's hairy, hairy square pair. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Your guess is as good as mine. Either way, <laughs> uh. The game does start to scale up pretty good, but I am playing as probably the strongest character. I just just because I was like, I want oh, see, this is plus one damage. So this is bait. This is flat damage. Everything is doing one extra damage. I'm gonna grab extra health so I don't die in one hit. Uh, I kind of want the flamethrower, but I also want the duck. So I'm gonna take the duck. So luck increases the chance of getting items to drop. So it's not a terrible thing to just keep building up luck. Also, you know, it's still random, so it's not a great idea to just dump everything into luck, but... Hey, sometimes you gotta put everything into luck. Hey, look at that. Luck paid off. Maybe. I don't know. Probably could have happened without the luck. Oh. Oh. Okay, no. I still got a lot of time. For some reason, I thought the wave was almost over and I needed to grab all of this stuff. <laughs> just, just... Oh, wow. See, two items. So you don't need to worry about picking up items at the end of the wave. Like, they will auto-collect to your character. 
Do you need some... Uh, I don't know. Look at this. Oh, wow. Three items in this one room. This is incredible. So, well, they could end up, be, end up being bad, I guess. Alright, let's see what we get. Three items. Mushroom. Okay, nothing wrong with mushroom. Sunglasses. Whatever, we'll take them. Baby with a beard. Okay, now we got two babies with a beard. Uh, more luck. I, I, Alright, ooh, double barrel shotgun. And let's do a reroll. Ooh, Cyclops worm. Let's take another SMG. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, so now we're starting to get into the charging enemies, because of course they have those guys. But, alright, I can almost just... If any, like, I can just sit here. And just wait until an enemy spawn is, like, right on me. <sighs> alright, yeah, let's just start gathering some stuff. I don't know what it is that it's happening with when you get... Like, when you gather all... When you don't gather the money and experience item, whatever these would be called. At the end of the wave, they kind of go into a bank of who knows what, you can't access it at all. So I'm kind of thinking that it's going to be the game's like form of meta progression once the game actually comes out and like everything that you don't collect as money for that run becomes some sort of permanent upgrade money, which is kind of a cool concept. Like see right there, that 52, I can't touch that. Can't do anything with that. Don't know where it's going, because I do know that the game does plan on having that. Uh, I can make it so piercing damage doesn't do reduced damage as much. Extra damage, minus range. I could actually safely take that. And then actually grab more range and accuracy. Because I don't have any lifesteal. Alright, let's do that. <laughs> so yeah, the game is going to actually have permanent upgrades. It says, I think it says it on the page or do that or the I don't know I went into the steam forms for the game the dev was talking about some of the stuff that's gonna be in there and that's that's a pretty exciting thing to see you know that more items more weapons ah, ah, ah. more items more weapons meta progression and I think there was even plans for bosses so that's gonna be really cool but there isn't actually a boss in this demo at all ah walk through that come on, give me heals give me heals give me heals all right there we go got my heals Okay, enemies are starting to get free. Okay, I, I, my big problem is I did not build up enough damage yet. So let's hopefully grab as much to get a level. If we can actually get some damage. So there is an end. Like, uh, wave 10 is the final wave. So hopefully I can get there. No guarantee I'm going to, but hopefully. Scared sausage. I'll take it. Baby elephant. I'll take it. Scar. I don't really need that. Minus 20 range. My range is... Actually, you know what? It's safe. Because guns actually will not fire at enemies if they're too close. More max HP. Let's grab more range. Uh, I think Scared Sausage stacks increases the chance of applying a burn, but I don't really need it. I don't have much in the way of burn damage. So it doesn't matter. My burn's only going to be ticking for a little bit there. Could have took that for that. Uh, no, we're just gonna keep go we're just gonna keep going. So yeah, more enemies will probably be added in because you've kind of seen everything that there is. But honestly, this game is so much fun. Like they could almost charge just like five dollars for it, not call it an early access and be like that. But no demo, everyone gets to try it for free. It is still up even though even though the. Uh, Going rogue thing is over, so you can't. If you want to try this, you can do it yourself, like, no problem. It's honestly very fun, and I do recommend it. I'm very much looking forward to this game actually coming out. As. Well, there's. You know. It's simple, but fun, and I'm kind of assuming that is probably a lot of the reason as to why uh, Vampire Survivors exploded in popularity as it did, and I should probably actually give that game a turn one day. But, not today. Today I'm playing Brotato. Ah! <laughs> you do go back up to full health uh, at the end of each wave. Eh, more sunglasses. More Cyclops Worm. Let's boost my armor a little bit more. Another Cyclops Worm. Uh, so I'm on wave 9. Another Pierce. Another Cyclops Worm. Alright, let's go. 
God, my I love how your character's appearance changes. It's... <laughs> it's fun. Probably could swap out the shotgun. I don't know if the shotgun's doing... Actually, I think if the shotgun might be the one that's completely obliterating those waves. Yeah, no, definitely. That, is, that mixed with the baby with a beard. It's just the item that's making it so enemies, when they die, they shoot out bullets. So you're probably seeing bullets fly in every direction every whenever the oh, horde is destroyed. Yeah, okay, those first charging enemies, like the speed, fast enemies, are just they die one hit and they just wipe each other out. That's nuts. I don't even think I had that much damage built, but <laughs> ranges seem so much stronger. All right. Oh, almost got another level. Oh, well. Cyclops Worm. Take it. Warrior Helmet. Yeah, I'll take it. Wisdom. Eh, I don't really feel like it. Alien Magic. I'll take it. Okay, I actually got a bit of survivability going for me now. Uh, the life still doesn't matter. Burning damage. I'll take the burning damage, whatever. This is the final wave, so I may as well spend everything. Buy some more Alien Magic. Ah, no. I would have loved to have grabbed the minigun. The minigun's broken. It's probably the best weapon that's available in this demo. It's the, well, it's the only rare weapon. Um, for guns, at least. There's a rare melee one. Supposedly, I've never seen it. <laughs> My friend who has been playing the game, he's, he says he's seen it all the time, and he's, like, never seen the minigun, so there's that. So... Yeah. Hopefully, uh, after this, we're, we're gonna do a melee focused run, and I'm yeah, gonna have three little runs planned I wanna do. This, this game's just fun. It's just fun. It's very simple, but very fun. It'd be cool if we get more, like, maps with maybe some hazards and stuff getting thrown in eventually, or like, just so much that could happen. Uh, items aren't mat don't matter. Neither does my levels. I just gotta stand here for another, like, I don't know, five seconds or so, and then. Oh, okay, those guys can reach me. And they do a chunk of damage. Run one. There we go. I picked, like, the most OP setup, but whatever. Alright, so let's go with a melee character. Um, I'm gonna go with the Savage. Savage brings up a fun thing. So, this guy is all about using the stick. Which, honestly, I didn't see. The stick, I wish, appeared a little earlier, more. So, the stick gets extra damage for each stick awesome if later on in the game they kind of add that, that, that kind of effect was added on to all the weapons like maybe not to the same st extent as the stick i think the stick should probably still be the only one that scales extra damage for each copy but it'd be cool to get like some sort of bonus for wielding multiple of the same weapon like say like the pistol gets an extra pierce for each pistol or let's go attack speed or like we got the fist here maybe it gets faster for each one even though it's already a very fast weapon because not gonna do much for me because I'm got mega minus three damage. I may as well take it. Stick is pretty much all I really want. Cause I get life steal with sticks, and I get you know damage with sticks because sticks do so much damn damage. Oh. Yeah, the fist is actually doing nothing for me. I need to boost my damage. Well, sometimes keeping guys away, so that's actually... That's something. Ooh! <laughs> Oof. Alright, let's grab... Let's dodge, I guess. Knife. Okay, I'll take the pistol, too. You can just discard weapons. Oof. Oh. <laughs> Pistol's not necessary for any of this, but just take it just because it was there and I could afford it. There's no reason not to max out your weapons. Okay, there we go. Well, there is a character that actually cannot use all weapons, which is kind of fun. Because they, the characters, while mostly just being starting they, setups, they do actually feel pretty different to play. Because I don't think they usually have some sort of negative gimmick or something. Some of them are just stats, but no. Just starting with two sticks is just very interesting and 
good because the stick sometimes doesn't want to show up and it shows up there we go three sticks let's go we still need to get more damage going though and actually more health if we was getting to the point where i'm just gonna die if something sneezes at me No, that was like all my health. Good thing I have life steal on my sticks. Yes, yeah, so I need to get more. Oh man, life steal's good. So yeah, I think it would be really cool if they actually had it so every weapon had its own little gimmick like that. Just, I don't know. It'd be fun. Just just to make them all a little a little bit more different, but doesn't need to happen. Uh, I think armor would actually be really good. With the life steal, it should help me survive a little bit. Accu I don't even know why I took accuracy. Accuracy doesn't matter with melee weapons; they're all perfect. Whatever. Actually, no. Let's just I'll we'll just card the fist, and we'll grab a flamethrower because why not? Even though my flame, my fire damage is like non-existent still. Gotta build that up, I guess, if I want the flamethrower to be of any value. Alright, alright. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ow, I just walked into that. Come on, tree. You didn't give me anything good. Oh man, I'm starting to feel... Everything that's not the stick is hitting for nothing. I haven't got any damage increases. <laughs> the three sticks are just like one-shotting anything, and they probably will continue doing that for the rest of the game. As that's just how stick do. Ugh. Yeah, I gotta replace everything with sticks. All I need is sticks! Alright, uh... Nose. Should have took the Cyclops form. I don't think I have any items, do I? <laughs> I don't need items. All I need is sticks. Oof. Uh-oh. I don't even have health. Oh no, this is a really bad setup. Uh, I got enough. I guess I do have other defensive stats, like a bit of dodge and some armor, so... You can't drop to the point where you just don't take damage. Like, you always have to take at least one. Oh, 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 no, 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 Oh, come on, come on. There's so much, so much. Let's go, let's go. Oh, oh. There we go. Maybe with a beard, whatever, take it, it's free. Bonus damage. Flat damage. Do some of that. Take a hammer. It's big and strong. It's probably better than a knife. Mm. Nope, none of that's any good. Here, I got my first item. It's just made with a beard, which is going to cause a bullet that probably does, like, one damage. Ow. Sirs? Excuse me? What are you all doing? Ah! Just keep poking things with sticks! Oh, oh. Ah! Oh god. Man, this tree just keeps spawning back and it keeps dropping items. Oh no. Alright, 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 al
well, that's Brotato. And honestly, if you liked what you saw, just give this game a download. It is totally worth it. All right. Have a great rest of your day, and bye-bye.